Hey everybody, Sam back once again and it's now time to do the video that a lot of people keep asking me to do. This is a what's on my Android device. Um, obviously there's a lot of people that do what's on my iPhone, what's on my iPad. I'm also going to do an iPad one in the future, obviously I don't have an iPhone, but I do rock Android. So, I'm just going to show you what's on my device. Um, and then I'll go, you know, I'll just give you a quick look what's on there. If you like these kind of videos, I'll then do a video update, you know, showing you, you know, each application. And I can do some reviews for you if you want me to do some reviews. We can have a look down that way. Anyway, let's jump into the applications. So I'm just going to zoom in really quick at the top here. And I'll move the device in and out. So I've got ad free. Now, if you don't know what ad free is, basically you need a rooted device to do this. And it basically means that when you're browsing the internet and stuff like that, you don't get loads of app, app, you know, ads popping up all over the place. Very cool application, definitely needed for every rooted device. AdSense dashboard. Now, everyone that's a, maybe a YouTube partner or runs a website or an AdSense, this is a godsend. Basically, it updates just to what your revenue is, etc. And, you know, and it basically can refresh it every minute, every hour, whatever you want to do. Plus, you can see statistics, how many people are watching you, all that kind of good stuff. That's a definite must. AirDroid. Basically, what that does is it creates its own little virtual kind of, um, how can I say, like, kind of little hotspot. Um, and then what you can do is you can actually log on via a web browser, so via Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, whatever you're rocking. You can log into the phone and actually, you know, sw you know transfer files wirelessly via Wi-Fi. Um, it's a cool application. You can do a lot more with it as well. Um, you can, you know, read text messages and etc. Amazon apps, you know, Amazon Store, basically enough for buying stuff on Amazon. <laughs> nice and easy. We've then got Audio Manager. In there, you could basically just customize stuff, and um, you know, actually change kind of you know, change actual profiles and whatnot. If anyone's got that, they actually know where it does. Wink, wink. Um, obviously, beautiful widgets, awesome application. It's what I use on the front of my device here. So everyone that keeps asking in terms of what you know, what clock I'm running, I always run, run beautiful widgets on my, on my devices. Absolutely love them. Calculator, obviously, comes stock stand on the phone. I like having it there just in case I want to use it. Camera, again, relative straightforward. We all know what that is. Chrome, I don't use this as my default browser, I do use the default browser that comes with the phone, uh, which I've hidden on here obviously, uh, but basically Chrome, I have it on there because I like to see how it's performing, and every time they update it gets better and better, eventually that's probably going to be my default one, but for now I am rocking the, the stock browser, Chrome to phone, awesome application, if you've got, if you've used Chrome on your desktop, install the, the plugin on the desktop install it here as well and then you've got like a little button on your on your actual um, browser you know on your desktop you tap that browser and that little you click that little button on your browser and it sends a link directly to your phone if you want to see some kind of review on that or you know a demo of that you know leave me a comment down below i'll be sure to do that cine world it's a cinema i've got unlimited card too so i check out my local you know cinema listings coin dozer it's kind of one that i got hooked on when i had when i had an iphone and i use it on my ipad so much fun if you like your little slot machines you know um you know little 2p machines and 10p machines in the arcades that is so much fun I definitely recommend it cover art downloader pretty much where it says it is you know i've got a lot of music on your device you want to get all that actual you know proper cover albums for you know actual album covers for all of them so when you're playing your music player you see the actual album art definitely pick that up it's free in the, the actual marketplace currency xe.com basically doing you know, you know currency you know basically you know changing currency on, on the actual fly deal extreme um, anyone that's been off probably been on the internet for quite a while knows what deal extreme is you know they sell a lot of cool products at very cheap prices um, definitely check out just uh, I think it's dx.com as well now download all files you know um, some files you do have problems with downloading an Android device such as zips sometimes they don't download certain devices won't allow them have this bad boy that you download anything from anywhere downloads basically um, if you download something on your device you click in there it shows you what you downloaded Google Drive God sent to a lot of people you get five gigabytes of free online storage I don't use it that much I use it you know as a, like a secondary backup yeah, five gigabytes is great it's nice and free but you know it's not something i use on a regular basis i use this bad boy here next door which is dropbox why do i use dropbox um mainly for the reason now is i've got like 75 gigabytes of free storage i've got 50 gigabytes with my galaxy s3 and 25 with my htc one x plus i added like three and three gig or something as well i've got about 78 79 78 gigabytes on there or something like that i'm never going to use that much but i prefer dropbox and you can do instant uploads which i think is a cool idea Google Drive, they've obviously very similar. I just prefer the way Dropbox works. You know, Google Drive needs more integration with Android. It's probably going to come in the future. You know, and hopefully that's going to you know get better. eBay, 
we all know what eBay is, you know, the mobile application, you know, I use that on a regular basis when we're looking to see, you know, get any cheap products in, you know, any cheap cases for you guys to do reviews on. Let's jump to the next page, we've got Evernote, if you've not seen what Evernote is, basically Evernote, you can sync it across multiple, devi multiple devices, um, you can create a notes, app, you know, a little note. Um, and basically edit it somewhere else so if you do it on here then send it off somewhere it's basically a notes application but it's probably the easiest and smoothest I've ever used really, and I definitely recommend picking up Evernote and again it's a free application Facebook we all go on Facebook now and again some of us may you know, say we don't but pretty much you know, we all go on Facebook I go on there, check out my Facebook page, you know, see if anyone's commented on you know, my Facebook um, the like page, the fan page, whatever you want to call it Flipboard, which obviously was originally for the Galaxy S3 and exclusive, you can now get it free in the Android Marketplace. And basically, what that is, it's kind of an aggregator. Um, it aggregates all your different applications, uh, all the different news feeds, so Android, Apple, whatever it might be, sports, and it's all like you know, called Flipboard. Again, if you want to show do reviews on individual ones of these, leave me comments down below and I'll be sure to do it. FM radio, pretty much standard where it says it is. It's a proper FM radio built into the actual device. You do need to use some headsets to use as the antenna, but obviously it's there. Foursquare, I don't use it as much as I should do. Um, I've started using it a bit more recently. And basically, Foursquare, you probably all know where it is anyway. With Foursquare, you can basically log into, you know, site, you know, kind of check into places, say I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. You earn little points for it. Some places offer you discounts. Cool, you know, cool application. Go check it out. Franco kernel updater. Again, not really useful to a lot of, you know, probably a lot of people watching these videos. You need a rooted device. And you need a certain device for this. So if you use this at the moment, you have to have a Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy Nexus. And um, Franco's kernel updater. Basically, he's a developer called Franco. He creates an Android kernel, you know, for certain devices. There's one for the Galaxy Note as well, which is another application, a separate application. This one. And basically in there you can update your kernel to the newest one, do modifications, overclock your device, underclock your device, change certain values, the undervolt it, etc. Definitely pick it up if you're running the Galaxy S3 and you go you you use want to use a you know a custom kernel, again it needs to be rooted, download you know Franco's kernel update. It's very, very cheap, it's about two dollars, about one pound thirty or something like that at the moment. Definitely recommend it, you know, supporting an awesome dev. Um, next one, Geeky Avatar, free version. Basically, if you've got, you know, you want pictures in your phone, but you don't want to, you know, have everyone's picture in there, but you want to, you know, some kind of picture for they call your texture, create a little Geeky Avatar, and I think it's cool. There's another one, Androidify as well, to make a little Android person. I like the little Geeky one at the moment. Get Glue, I'm on this quite a lot. Basically, on there, it's very similar to Foursquare in some ways, uh, but instead of actually checking into places, you check in to say, right, I am watching this movie, I'm watching that movie, Cool application, definitely picking it up, and it's got Foursquare, Facebook, and Twitter integration into it. So if you check into that, you can check into Foursquare at the same time, tweet out to Twitter and post on Facebook. Obviously, the stock Gmail application it is a godsend to everyone that uses Gmail and an Android device. It is probably the easiest integration of Gmail anywhere you'll ever see. Definitely recommend if you've got an Android device, use a Gmail application. Some people use the built in email application, I've uninstalled it on mine. I recommend the Gmail application if you run in a G if you run Gmail for your main client. Google Plus, relatively straightforward. We all know what Google Plus is. Google Manager, uh, this is another one again for rooted people. And in here you can download the latest Google Apps and you can download the latest ROMs for your actual device. Um, again, for a varied amount of devices, not just for the Galaxy S3 and this one, you can use it for the Galaxy S2, Galaxy Nexus, um, HTC One X, etc. All your devices that have got custom app, you know, custom ROMs. Get Google Manager and you can download and update them on there. Hello, it's an application I've just started using. Um, basically, Hello, it's where you can kind of make like um, you make like a little voice app, you know, a little voice memo, post out there, thirty seconds or less, and you could just say hi and that's what I'm doing. It, it's kind of like kind of like you know a version of Twitter but actually instead of actually just tweeting out you you know speak out um, I think it's pretty cool you can reply to people you know if you want to go follow me I am Sam Jekyll on there so you know go check me out Hex to say I've done a review on that one if you want to see the review click the actual um, logo there absolutely love this game and it's you know it's probably my favorite one of my favorite games on Android and basically and yeah, no, I'll go check out the review but oh serious I absolutely love this game I'm addicted to it from time to time IMDB in the movie database, we all know where that is, relatively straightforward. We've got Instagram, again, most people know what Instagram is, you know, 
you know, basically taking pictures, you know, put like a little filter onto there. Yeah, it's not the, the best way to show you, showcase your best, you know, quality pictures, but it's a quick way to aggregate cool pictures in a certain place. I recommend to anybody. Internet, basically the stock internet browser, the one I use on a regular basis. Kick Messenger, um, I, use, I use Kick Messenger. Basically, you know, you've probably seen you know, people using WhatsApp, etc. It's another free cross, you know, cross messaging application. You can have it on Android, you can have it on um, the iPhone, BlackBerry, and I think it's on Windows Phone as well. So it's, you know, cross platform. So if someone's got an iPhone, you know, they don't want to use iMessage, but they want to message you free of charge instead of using text messaging. I know most people get free text now, but if you say I'm texting in America, it's a free message. Lois TSB, that's my bank, you know, my banking application, <laughs> pretty much where it says it is. Logos quiz game, something I've been playing recently, and uh, you just got to kind of guess what logo is. So obviously on there, it'd be Nike, McDonald's, is it Hello Kitty, and probably Twitter, yeah, Twitter. Uh, Maps application, again, comes pretty much default on all Android devices. Let's go to the next page. We've got Messenger. Basically, Messenger is just the built in application, it's built with Gmail, it's the Messenger application relatively straightforward messenger which is the facebook messenger um, i prefer using that than actual the application itself because you get proper push up putting up push notifications saying this is here this is there this is everywhere blah blah, blah. definitely recommend them if you, if you use facebook chat at all definitely recommend picking the messenger um mobile audio lights uh, this is from the developer i think chain, chain fire absolutely love this application um, and again it's for only for samsung devices this one mainly um, and it's only for root devices again uh, if you'd like more detailed information of what it's all about again leave me a comment down below and i'll, I'll make a video separate videos for each of these ones can see i'm about 10 minutes in or something now and i'm not even halfway through music player the stock music player i actually really like it uh, definitely recommend using that there are other alternatives on the market but i don't see any point using anything else it's a nice clean crisp and very cool application Google Navigation, pretty much straightforward. Most people know this as well. It's a free navigation application from Google. You can now download the maps, so you don't have to actually use your data. You can download about up to 80 megabytes of the map, which is a pretty big distance. Netflix, yes, Netflix is in the UK. It's everywhere pretty much nearly now. And obviously, Netflix is a, a streaming, you know, streaming uh, mo uh, movie service for TV shows, movies, etc. Omega Files, this is an application that comes with the ROM I'm running. I'm running using the, the Omega um, ROM at the moment. And Omega Files is basically you can download more little, you know, little hacks and you know little hints and tips um, and you know customization just to make it a bit different. Pandora, some people are thinking, Sam, why have you got Pandora? You can't use it. Well I was a VPN if whatever you wouldn't want to use Pandora, so I can actually use that within the UK. And basically that's where you can choose your favourite artists um, and then what it does is you know you can create your own little, your own little radio stations. Parcels, I use that on a regular basis for shipments that are coming into me. So if somebody gives me a tracking code, I jump into parcels and it tells me when it's going to get delivered, whereabouts it is in the world, etc. Photo Grid, that's a cool little application for Instagram. Basically, in that one, what you can do is you can um, kind of take you know more than one picture and kind of condense it into four little pictures and two little pictures, whatever you want to do. Uh, definitely check out a photo grid. I'm going to make a separate video on that one because it's a bit hard to explain just on the video here. Photo bucket. Um, I don't. I don't use it that often, but I've got a lot of pictures on there from previously that I've just not moved anywhere else. So photo bucket is where you can take a picture, upload it, and you've got free online storage for your photos. Cool enough. You know, very cool application. And then you've got a Pixelomatic. Basically, on that one, I think it's a cool application. You can kind of mess around with stuff. So you've got a picture. You want to add a filter. You know, add, you know, add some you know, cool little flares to it, etc. Definitely I'm picking it up and go pick that up in the actual um, obviously Android Marketplace. But as you can see next, the, it's the actual Google Play Store. We all know what the Google Play Store is. Most people are running this now. Download all your applications from there. Free and paid applications. Let's be honest, we all know what that is. Plex. Definitely go pick, pick, go pick, pick up Plex if I get my words out. Basically what Plex is, is you run a server on your computer. So let's say you've got a Windows PC or a Mac PC, whatever it might be. And then what you can do is you can actually use this if it's on the same network. And then actually log in and then start streaming the videos wirelessly. Uh, I use this on a regular basis to my iPad and also to here. So if I'm downstairs and I want to watch something on my Mac from upstairs, I log into this one here, my Mac's on upstairs, wirelessly stream it. The quick panel settings, this is basically again for my specific device, which I'll show you really quickly. Obviously at the top of my device, you know, most people don't get all these kind of toggles. 
So I've got obviously got shutdown, reboot, etc. Um, and basically, we kick in the quick panel setting. You can actually customize those, take them off, add them, move them around, and actually, you know, put it to where you want it to be. Quick pick. I actually don't use a stock uh, gallery application and then any devices. I use Quick Pick, and basically, it is an, a, a gallery replacement. So if you're viewing your pictures, etc., you can view pictures, view your, you know your videos in this one. Definitely recommend it. It's nice and lightweight. To me, I just like it. I like the way it works, and it's very fast. You can't go wrong. Quidco, a lot of people might not know what this is, but on Quidco, you can actually earn cash back. So if you buy stuff on eBay, buy stuff on Play.com, a host of websites, you can earn cash back. A lot of people don't realise you can do this. And basically what you're doing is you're getting money back for spending money. Can't go wrong. Red Laser, which is now owned by the eBay Corporation, basically with that one is it's a barcode scanner. So if you're out and about and you see something, let's say, in a store, and you know you get there and you're thinking, oh, I wonder how much that's going to be online. Use that as a barcode scanner, scan the barcode, it tells you roughly how much, what, what it's going to be by an Amazon, I mean eBay, a host of different places. Definitely recommend picking it up. ROM Manager, this is another root-only application. A basic in ROM Manager, it's pretty much where it says it is. You can manage your ROMs, you can download ROMs, you can update your ROMs. Um, basically, you can flash clockwork mod. Again, not to get into too much detail because some people won't have a clue what it's all about. If you want a separate video on it, then leave me a comment down below. Root Explorer, pretty much where it says it is. It's a root version of the Explorer application, which basically means that I can go further into the device and actually modify certain things without actually well, having full root access. Um, I prefer to do it that way than over ADB. It's just my personal, personal preference. If you're rooted on your device, I definitely recommend that one. There are other alternatives as well. Obviously, we've got S Memo and S Planner, pretty much standard what they are. We've got S Voice. Um, I did take it off, but I've actually put it back on the device because it seems to run a lot smoother now. We all know what S Voice is. If you want to see what S Voice is, I'll put like an annotation here. You can go check out my demo. Obviously, S Memo and S Planner. It's a memo application, so you can write, an, you know, write a memo, a memo. Planner, which is your calendar application, straightforward. Say no to 0870. Very, 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 very get it across to you. Um, I recommend this application to anybody, you know, very much. Yeah, I don't know why I'm saying loads of errors. Uh, basically, if you have if you need to call somebody, so let's say you need to call somebody that's an 0870 number, use this application to see if it's a free phone number. If it's not a free phone number, see if it's a local rate number. Now, within the UK, every 0870 number or 0845 has got a proper number behind it. This application helps you find that number. Highly recommend it, it can save you a lot of money if you can use your mobile to call people. Obviously, Google search, relatively straightforward. You're not just uh, using it to search. Skitch, um, in Skitch, it's now owned by the Evernote com uh, Corporation. Uh, and what in Skitch you can do is you take a screenshot, you want to circle some, uh, you know, kind of highlight some. Uh, it's basically using, you know, kind of like highlighting certain things in, in images, circling some, uh, and then send it off somewhere. Again, I'll do a separate review on that if you want to see it. Sky Sports, relatively straightforward. Uh, just an application to keep me up to date with all my sports, from, you know, for my football soccer from American people, my Formula One, boxing, etc. If you're in the UK, or even if you're not, Sky Sports application, definitely recommend picking it up. Sky Plus, awesome application. In there, what I can do is I can actually see my TV listings. We know see what's going to be on next, what's going to be next in the next week or two. And then I can actually set it to record on my box. So I can be reviewed, you know, having a look on there and going, oh, I, want to I actually want to record that. Press record, and it record on my box when it's on. So if that's something that's going to be in two or three days, go into it, click record, job done, it records it for me at home. Obviously, the next application, we've got Skype. Let's be honest, we all know what Skype is. Relatively straightforward. SMS backup. Basically, on this one, what you do is you can actually, when you log into it, it backs up all your uh, messages to your Google account. So let's see, you've obviously got your, your Gmail account. You basically back them all up to there. And if you get a new device, you want to download all those, all those old text messages, you can download them all there. You can automatically back up as well. So if you want to automatically back up, let's say every day or two, so you never lose those text messages, you can do that. Songify, uh, it's a cool, fun application is this one. Um, basically in there, you can talk to it, sing to it. Um, and what it does is it kind of, you know, kind of put like a symphonizer against your voice um, and it just makes you sound cooler. Um, some, you know, some, I say cooler, it, it's weird, but I love it. Um, definitely recommend picking that, go picking that up. SoundCloud, um, I don't know why I've got SoundCloud, but I listen to some people on there now and again. 
on there you can basically you know you could sing a song to it not like i'm going to sing because i can't sing but you can sing a song to it and then somebody else can listen to it and it's kind of, it's kind of like hello in a lot of ways but it's more aimed at you know kind of uploading more than 30 seconds or more speedtest.net a lot of people have seen i use that application to do speed test from 3g on wi-fi whatever it might be um, i just like testing speed from time to time spirit definitely go pick this up if you're not picked it up yet it is a highly addictive game and basically you're a little spirit going all the way around and you've got to kind of how can i explain it you kind of got to avoid stuff but at the same time you've actually got to circle stuff and actually destroy stuff while avoiding laser beams um, i'm probably gonna do a full review on that one as well <laughs> stumble upon you all know what stumble upon is this is the mobile application so if you're bored and you want to stumble upon something ba boom there you go um, super super SU. Um, there's another one called Super User. Um, very very similar. And what it does is it manages your root access. Again, it's a root only application. So if you're not if you've not got a modified ROM, if you're not rooted your device, ignore what I'm saying. And basically, what you can do is you can say, right, I want to grant access to this dev this certain application that wants root access. I want to deny this application. So you can kind of you know give it access, deny access from time to time. You know it's needed for every root root device. Um, I did use Super as before, but Super SU is now my personal favourite. Uh, Swift Key 3, um, I, I normally have this hid, but I've shown it just for today just so you can actually see it. Uh, basically, in Swift Key 3, uh, obviously, it's a, it's a keyboard app replacement. My favourite keyboard at the moment, I'm generally a swipe fan, but Swift Key is now my number one. Um, and it can actually predict what I'm going to talk, what I'm going to say before I even know what I'm going to say sometimes. It's pretty crazy. System config basically in there you can just config certain things that you can't normally config on a normal device. Uh, cool, you know, very cool, and then just kind of like change some things in there. We've got Talk, which is Google Talk. Um, so obviously, you know, you want to talk on it. <laughs> basically, what it is is it's like a message application, and you can also do video calls, etc. On there, cool. You know, it's cool. I don't use it that often, but I have it there. I do get messages from time to time. Temple Run. We all know what Temple Run is. Uh, obviously, a cool game. Zoom out a little bit. That's a final page. And here we are. We're just going to have a couple of more of these applications. We've got Titanium Backup, which is another root only application. And basically, it's probably the one of the best, if not the best, root application you can get. And basically, in, in Titanium Backup, you can pretty much do what it says it is. You can back up your stuff. So you can back up your data, you can back up anything. And then you can actually sync it to a Dropbox account. So if you back up your whole phone, sync it to a Dropbox account if you get a new phone in the future or you destroy your phone or whatever install Titanium backup again download those files boom you've got your phone back again it's a very cool way so you never actually lose any of your data highly recommended Google Translate pretty much where it says it is from time to time I get people messaging me in different languages so I have that there so I can actually reply to them Twit Plus which I'll come into in a sec obviously the standard Twitter application Highly recommended. I, did, I have been using other ones, but I've kind of got stuck on the proper one now. Um, I don't know why. It's just it seems I like push notifications, and none of the other ones offer it right now. But this little bad boy here is definitely needed. If you use a Twitter application, get Twit Plus. In Twit Plus, um, what you can do instead of actually having to go to the browser to view, like say, an image from Instagram or from you know YFrog, etc., it, it aggregates all to the normal application, uh, and it pops up in front of you. I'm probably going to do a separate video on this one, but basically I highly recommend getting Twitter Plus. If you've not used it or have never had it, but use the official application, get Twitter Plus now. Ustream, you probably all know what Ustream is. Um, you can stream live straight to the internet, you know, do a live show, whatever it might be. You can view them as well. Viber, which is basically a way of making free telephone calls via your, um, let's say, Wi-Fi or cellular data, whichever you want to use. Uh, video player, pretty much straightforward, the stock video player, it's probably my favourite one. Um, MX player as well is good, but this one, it just does everything I want it to do, so there's no point changing it. We've got voice recorder, which again comes standard on the phone. Pretty much where it says it is, record your voice. Wall bass, I've got a video coming up on this one soon. Everyone keeps asking me, Sam, Sam, where do you get all your cool, you know, all your cool wallpapers from? Wall bass is one of those places. Definitely go check out wall bass, and it's free in the Android market. Google Wallet, some people are thinking, Sammy Cat is that in the UK? This is the patched one from Paul O'Brien from Modico. Uh, big props to Modico, um, Paul O'Brien. Uh, go follow him on Twitter, go check out his website. Awesome, awesome guy. Does a lot of cool things. Um, obviously, Google Wallet, you can you know, use it in certain places. WhatsApp, as I said, we previously with Kick earlier. Basically, WhatsApp, it's a free message application. 
and obviously you can send messages to anyone in the world. Wikipedia, um, I like using this application. Some people just go use the mobile web. Um, I like using this one. It seems a bit faster than the mobile web, um, so I definitely recommend it. WordPress, now my website runs on WordPress, so if I want to upload something while I'm out and about, boom, use the actual WordPress application. It's there straight away. Um, this one's a pretty cool one, which is the Xbox Media Center Remote. Um, now, I've got a little um, a little net top PC that I use for my home media PC, and it runs the um, Xbox Media Center. And basically, running that, I can control it, and it uses this as a remote control. Highly recommended if you use it. You can get it for Android, and you can also get it for iPhone as well. Go pick that up, and it's, again, it's completely free. You can't complain. XDA Premium, now, obviously there's a free version as well, but I recommend supporting XDA. Get the premium version, um, and basically it's just a way of actually viewing their forums, so you can reply, you view, you know, view the latest posts, etc. Yammer, I use this for my job at work. Um, Yammer, basically what it is, it's kind of like a business version of Facebook, <laughs> as we all know. The um, Microsoft just bought it for 1.2 billion, I think it was. Uh, and if anyone don't know what Yammer is, it pretty much what it is is it's another variation of Facebook just for businesses. It's pretty cool, but not real. I only have it there so I can check stuff out for work. Yell, I have Yell on here. Um, anyone don't know what Yell is? It's for the Yellow Pages. Yeah, obviously in the UK, just you know, Yell.com, uh, .co.uk, Yell.com, one of those two. Um, and basically on there, you can find out, you know, at certain local places, local telephone numbers. I have it on there if I need to call, you know, if you need to find a local business. We've got YouTube, obviously the, YouTube, the standard YouTube application, which was being updated. Fantastic application, definitely recommend for any YouTuber. Zedge on here you can download free games, free live wallpapers, live normal wallpapers, ringtones, notification tones. If you've never used Zedge, definitely recommend picking it up. I don't recommend it for wallpapers because they're not the highest quality. That's what wallbase is for. But for ringtones, they're completely free of charge. Get them all on there. And last but certainly not least, we've got the uTorrent remote. Anyone that uses a torrent application, you know, say uTorrent, then on here you can actually you know, control them, you know, pause them, delete them, whatever you want to do. It's a remote control for you, Torrent, on your computer. So, people, that's it. That's uh, my look at what's on my Android. The video is about 25 or 26 minutes long. So, you've probably seen that. I've probably cut it into more than one video. I may even put it into three different videos, this one. Um, but, yeah. Sorry for the long video. If you, Again, if you want to see me do a review, you know, certain reviews on uh, certain applications, or if you want to review them all, you know, let me know about down below, and I'll certainly try and do my best. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about them, you know what to do by now. Hit me up down below. And yeah, I shall see you in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.